main attraction of our video today is this. This is the eighth generation of the Passat. We have here the 2017 V8 Volkswagen Passat. At the moment of our video, it is known as the latest version of this model manufactured since end 2014 until today. As usual, we'll start with the front part of the car. Big bonnet. Chromed plastic here, which create the illusion of actual metallic bars, but no, we have like chromed plastic. Big Volkswagen logo here. In the lower part of the front bumper, we can see two fog lights, which also light up when the car is cornering. This the B8 Volkswagen Passat is two millimeters shorter 12 millimeters wider and 73 kilos lighter than the old V7 Volkswagen Passat model. This car weighs like 1,520 kilos. Uh, the engine. We have here in this car a 1.4 TSI petrol engine, 150 horsepower, connected to a 7-speed DSG gearbox. In regard to this model, you have four options for petrol engines, starting with 1.4 TSI and going to the 2.0 TSI, and two options as diesel engines, 1.6 TDI and 2.0 TDI. That's it about the front part. Let's move now on the right side of the car uh, to have a look also there. Right, so we are on the right side of the car. Uh, the side mirrors are quite look quite simple and normal with the already known LED signaling light placed in the middle. Yeah, I think you already uh, noticed that we have a station wagon version, so <laughs> appropriate dimensions for a family car. There is an, a noticeable line here, which starts from the fender and goes to the tail light. The ground clearance of this car is 7 mm higher in comparison with the B7 Volkswagen Passat model, so the distance to the ground is bigger. We have alloy wheels on 16 inch, big doors, big windows, really big windows, so a lot of visibility for the for all passengers, a lot of space inside. If you want, you can bring your pajamas because the there's a bed inside waiting for you to to sleep if you want. <laughs> big petrol tank, fuel tank door here. This is metal. Let's move now on uh, on the back of the car. Great. We are uh, at the back side of the car, the back side of the car looks quite simple, not fancy, but I like it. It has a little bit of symmetry uh, with, all, with the front uh, part of the car. We have a big Volkswagen logo here, which in this version does not hide a back parking camera. But this car has parking sensors. We have big tail lights. The um, lower bumper has like a hole here, which has the purpose, the role of increasing the downforce coefficient of the car. The trunk, the trunk capacity is 650 liters. It's the biggest that you will get in comparison with the other competitors. And by competitors, I also included big trucks and planes. Excuse me, are you kind? Is there a possibility I can take the Heidelberg Castle home? I'm a castle collectioner. No, not a souvenir. Uh, the whole castle. Where do I put it? In the trunk. The. We have a 2017 Volkswagen Passat here, the world's most successful mid-size car. It is set to become the first car in its segment to cross the threshold of 30 million units sold in 2019, according to Volkswagen representatives. Elegant, comfortable, confident. The Volkswagen brand has been standing out with the Passat for over four decades. Designed for both families and professionals who put a lot of kilometers on the road, the all-rounder has become the world's most successful mid-size and business car. Hmm. Are these just some words from the marketing textbook, or are they actually true? Let's find out. 1.4 liter TSI petrol engine, straight four cylinders, 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters. Front wheel drive, 7 speed DSG gearbox with ACC, heated seats, and a watch for almost 35,500 euros. 
This is the Comfort Line version, which comes with nice 16 inch wheels with Discover Pro infotainment and nice Sun Trope light cement color interior. Going further, as you already know, I would like to make an analysis on this car based on four aspects price versus what you get and what some other options are. Who should buy this car? What is its audience? Good things versus bad things? And last but not least, how was my experience driving it? What are the conclusions? You pay almost 35,500 euros and you get a practical car. A car which you buy because it's simple and from simplicity provides complexity, elegance, comfort, space and features. The engine is not so potent and needs to handle the 1.4 tons mass of the chassis. You receive a robust car, spacious, not so fancy looking and a huge trunk. 650 liters capacity with a wide door access because we have a station wagon. The Comfort Line version doesn't impress with a multitude of features. No automatic parking system, no automatic trunk door close, no back camera, no line assist, but at least you get ACC. 360 degrees parking sensors and an analog watch but electronically controlled. Good quality plastic inside, decent combination of materials. Then there is the comfort and the space. This is why everybody loves the Passat. It makes you feel good inside the car. You don't need to worry for the rest. For 32,000 euros you can get the Opel Insignia which looks nicer, it's comfortable and have also more features available. For almost 38,500 euros, the BMW 3 Series come with an innovative 1.5-liter three-cylinder petrol engine and rear-wheel drive. For 37,500 euros, Audi A4 comes with the same engine and almost the same options available but better quality inside. For Mondeo comes with the famous 1.5 EcoBoost engine, more power but also 80 kilos heavier for almost 34,000 euros. Last but not least, Mazda 6 comes with almost the same power as the Passat from a 2.0 engine and costs almost 32,500 euros. Well, the Opel Insignia is the cheaper competitor, it comes with a 1.5 liter petrol engine and manual gearbox, but with more features like automatic parking system, front and back camera, line assist and much, much more. I'm very tempted to say this is a very interesting option. The Audi A4 is the little but more refined brother of the Passat. Most of the features are shared, but A4 is more expensive because it uses leather and metal. BMW 3 Series introduced for the first time a three-cylinder engine on a mid-premium car. Their idea of downsizing the engine to minimize the costs and pollution is definitely a truly important step. But for us, the buyers, Time needs to show how reliable the engine is. It's like the first release of a software. Let's wait for the bugs to appear. Even if the Mazda is considerably cheaper than the Ford, they are quite similar to me. I would place both of them under the same umbrella. They are better looking, more sophisticated than the Passat, have more features available and you pay less money. So why not? Well, in this case, tradition does matter. The Passat has more history behind. The German engineering decided that practicality is always better than shining bright like a diamond. The Passat is a nice car to drive, for both small and long distance journeys, especially for long distance journeys. It provides comfort and because it's a station wagon, it can definitely be used by a big family when you need to carry the old chair of grandma or big luggage for a vacation. If the sedan version is used mostly by business people, the station wagon is used mainly as a family car. Basically, it was built to provide what you expect from a car. Comfort, space and features. Nothing more, nothing less. The Passat is pretty much boring from the exterior, but this is the idea. The attention is not on how the car looks, but how the car behaves. What it's able to do for its people. That kind of audience will consider buying a Passat. The kind of people that consider buying it because they want to rely on the utility and practicality of the car. Good things versus bad things. I used this car during our winter holiday in Germany and Austria, visiting the amazing places of Salzburg and its surroundings with lakes, mountains and a lot of snow. Overall beyond 2500 kilometers. I mean, 
Analyzing the car from a usefulness perspective, of course there are many positive things that need to be mentioned. You have the possibility of using a lot of features, it's nice to drive. Not only the driver, but all the passengers will have a nice feeling being in the car because of the comfort and space. It's practical, there is a lot of space in the trunk as well. As a negative point, because it excels through practicality, it means it will always be heavy. It comes already with a mass of 1.5 tons empty and can get easily to 1.8 tons. Filled with three big trawlers and four people inside, we saw in terms of fuel consumption and agility that this is not the engine you need for this car. From this perspective, I wouldn't recommend the 1.4 TSI, it simply does not fit with the car. A 2.0 TSI or 2.0 TDI engine will be able to cope better with the car. From my previous experience with the Arteon C Epital 3, I can confirm the steering angle is relatively small. I would have expected to be able to steer easier around corners or narrow places. It is electrically assisted, the steering wheel is not so big so maneuvering is quite easy and pleasant, but you still need to do a 3 point turn. The Saint-Tropez interior gives the car refinement and elegance, but it's very difficult to keep it clean. Even if you wear a suit every day, which is highly unlikely at least for the station wagon, in time the dirt will be noticeably on this fancy light cement color interior. The price? Well, I would say it's not bad, but still not cheap enough. I would rather put it as a negative point than a positive one. For a Highline version with a 2.0 TSI engine and more features, you'll need to take out from the pocket almost 38,000 euros, which is quite enough. Let's sum up! 5 days, more than 2,500 kilometers and a nice holiday. Thankful as well to the Volkswagen Passat as it took us to our destination. In late 2019, preparations to produce a new Passat in Europe will get underway at the Emden plant in northern Germany. The new Passat will feature new drive system, light, assistant and infotainment technologies. The first milestone along the way ahead, crossing the 30 million threshold. After the Golf with 35 million units sold and ahead of the Beetle 21.5 million units sold, the Passat is one of the three most successful models in Volkswagen history. With more than 40 years of tradition, the audience knows it's a true people car and will always be.